What is up, Sideways fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be uh, getting Trevor's SC300 started with the 1.5 Jay-Z with the built head and all the rest of the stuff we did in the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through uh, what's all done and uh, where we're at right now before we get it started up tonight. And then the next day we're gonna be on Dino. So let's get it. Adjust it, leave it alone. Maybe a 12 or 13. So real quick, let's get in the trunk. Uh, the surge tank stuff's all done. I uh, went ahead and punched the hole, already insulated it. This is just a big battery that we got right here. We still need to fasten it all in there. But as far as um, surge, we're done. Uh, we still need to hook up one of the lines to the ECU right here that'll go to this little uh, probe right there on top of the surge tank. So that's why we haven't gotten that done. But all the modifications to the ECU to the drift motion jumper have been made. Uh, let me get you some light. Sorry for the lighting, but this is what happens when you have a drift motion jumper with like an OEM, let's just say like a wiring facilities harness. Uh, this is what normally happens with the mess you have under the dash. So typically our stuff is just from straight from the harness to the ECU. Um, you had to make a lot of modifications to make this work, but it's all good to go. We have fuel control now. We have uh, no more fan issue for fan control because we're on a clutch fan now. Uh, data cable is right here ready to go. So we're going to be getting all this stuff uh, put together. Got his brand new RM54 installed. Everything's all nice and bolted down and taped up. Let me give you a shot of the bay. Alrighty guys, so quick little update. If you guys haven't seen the other video, I'll just give it to you real fast. Uh, intercooler's been upgraded to our big size core. All the intercooler piping's been done. We've already fitted the headlight. This is already all bolted in now. All the fuse pops modification to clear the throttle body has been finished. Um, TPS and everything's already all set. Power steering system with the powerhouse racing setup that we, we sell as our kit, uh, kind of like collaboration with them is done. We use these for IS 300s, GS 300s, SC 300s. Air motor regulator has a new position and is mounted. We have our aftermarket throttle cable installed and hooked up. Our brand new 2150 uh, FMS 2150 is installed. Our top cover's all in. Our brand new turbo, uh, which is gonna be a 68 now, 68, 65 with a 90. 8 AR on it, open scroll. We didn't have a twin scroll available in uh, 1.0 right now because comp is backed up from everything else going on with everything else. So uh, new water pump, uh, powerhouse racing tensioner, powerhouse racing um, crank trigger wheel, uh, brand new OEM to clutch fan assembly, OEM radiator, OEM shroud, huge changes to everything to where from what it was before. We have an intake on it finally, a screen pipe on it finally, all the exhaust work is finished. So let's go ahead and get Danny over here, pull the coil pack off, uh, cover off real quick to get it started. And then we'll go ahead and finish up the little button. So day of Dino morning and a few problems we're already having. So as you can see the floor in here, uh, the radiator ended up having a hole in it for pinhole. Probably our fault for trying to put a used radiator in it. Uh, and his other radiator had a leak in a hole in it. So this car has a problem with holy radiators. So you have a brand new, uh, Aluminum big core one that actually fits with the shroud. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this should actually do way better than what we were gonna do anyways uh, to begin with, with this big, huge core. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this part fixed and then get over to Danny's right now for tuning. So we're over here putting some uh, gas in here, getting pump in the E85 for dyno. Let's get over to Danny's. It's already almost 11 o'clock. We're running super late today. say i'm super super excited about today um we've been wanting to see what like major head work does to like any g you know gte or turbo application and this is going to be a great 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 testament to that today um 
I mean, <laughs> the car just freaking rips, even on a base map right now. I'm just like, oh, oh my God. So, um, we should expect some good numbers today. I'm really, really, really uh, just excited. Like, I, I would just want to share that with you guys. Like, it's going to be a dub day. So, we're just pulling into Apexi right now. Let's go ahead and get the car on the dyno, get everything rolling, and uh, let's hey guys, get it. We've arrived at Apexi USA, car on the dyno. Timing is locked in. Uh, everything's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and figure out what the final drive ratio on the car is right now, and then we're going to get rolling. Five hundred horsepower on pump gas with like the proper work uh, to the head and like everything else too. Like I mean, mind you, uh, we we this isn't even like fully forged internals. You know what I mean? It's just GTE internals. So it's one of those things where it's like we just have ten to one compression. So obviously we're getting that that number uh, that everybody else is looking for. Like oh my god, that's crazy. But with the head work, it's just amazing because like we're dude, we're at like ten and a half pounds. Come on, bro. Like so we're gonna go to like maybe twelve right now. Hit the five hundred marker and then change over to eighty five. Trevor and his buddy just got here. We're gonna start uh, pumping up the 91 right now and getting the 85 put in the tank. So Trevor said he's so excited he doesn't care. We're gonna just slip the clutch until it blows up and put a twin plate in it and send it to the moon. Right? To the moon. Okay, to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the E85 in and uh, we're doing some ability now on the E.
guys. So clutch slipped um, after this, so probably somewhere around 7.30-ish, 7.40-ish numbers. So we're just gonna say the extreme probably maxes out at about 600 torque, 700 horsepower. It's actually really, really good for a single disc, so we're super stoked on that. Spend the money on the twin. <laughs> just spend the money early. <laughs> uh, Trevor's gonna go give her a test drive and then we'll set up T-Step tonight and then this will be the end of the video. And then uh, we got a bunch of other things we're gonna be doing to this thing. We're gonna be putting the bumpers on uh, doing the full LRB interior stuff, getting all the door panel stuff done, rear uh, rear flooring and everything back there. We'll probably be doing the differential upgrade because I'm pretty sure after he maxes it out at like 120, 140 miles per hour, he's gonna be like, this sucks, I wanna go faster. So that'll be the next thing on the list too. And uh, yeah. Coming soon, sideway body kit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got back to the shop right now and uh, Danny just got here. We're gonna set the two-step like we always do. Uh, this car may not be as poppy and bangy because we're actually gonna be using it for roll racing purposes, uh, for, uh, you know, actually racing, not just for show. So um, Danny's over here setting it up. He'll all be here and show you what's going on and then we'll go ahead and make some cool videos when the customer gets here to show them what's up. Dino Dan, the man over here, the pop top, got the BTI rolling over there. So, uh, setting up the stuff right now. Alrighty guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Trevor's car is done. As you can see, he's all ready to go home. We're gonna be going ahead and getting the body kit on and all the rest of the other parts for him to make this thing a complete vehicle so you can go ahead and wrap it and get it good. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little B-roll on the way out for you guys, but this is gonna go ahead and conclude the video. So uh, super glad we were able to test something different than we typically do where it's just like a real stock basic setup. This is a little bit crazier than we normally do, but we'll be able to now offer this kind of stuff to uh, customers and show them the difference in horsepower. Um, it's definitely expensive to get the head built. It's def by no means cheap at all. I mean, you're looking at probably $6,000 to have a head job like this done the way that he had it done. But I mean, I think overall for the, the end game of trying to make, make like a thousand horsepower, you'd have to do this anyways. So um, any questions or concerns, anything you guys want to ask me about, feel free to reach out. You can hit me up through Instagram, through the uh, channel on YouTube. And until next time, guys, 